5. Scary Rituals Caught on Tape We've all been to a party that got out of hand, but what if that party ended with human sacrifice? Certain groups can become cults, and once they become cults, their actions, their activities can get a little peculiar. They don't have a few beers and play Mario Kart. Things can get ugly. From a failed satanic resurrection to the murder of a chicken, these are five scary rituals caught on tape. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Number five, Satanist Resurrection. You can't talk about strange cultures and rituals without exploring the dark and creepy realm of hardcore Satanists, so we may as well start with that. This clip may be seven decades old, but that doesn't make it any more palatable. 70 years later, and it is still deeply chilling. We can't show you all of the clip, as some of it becomes incredibly gruesome, but the rough gist is that the group of Satanists sacrifice a man in an attempt to resurrect him. Yes, really. The killing of the man is successful, the resurrection, less so. It is not known where this video originated from, but it was first made available online in 2014 and has been terrifying people ever since. In the clip, the men mark a white pentagram onto a black floor. Once that is done, they move on to bathing the sacrifice as they dangle strange religious objects over him. There is no audio, but it seems they are mumbling some kind of incantation. It is also worth noting that the sacrifice seems to be a willing participant. Somehow that makes it all the more chilling. Once the man is out of the bath, they all engage in a series of strange activities. The man drinks an unknown substance out of a cup, and the others seem to chant around him. The man is soon killed, his body laid out onto the pentagram. Again, we're not going to show you clips from that portion of the footage. The full video is out there, and if you want to hunt it down, that's your prerogative. But trust us when we say, it only gets worse from there. Time for the star topic. If someone knows if there's video footage of this, then please make sure to give us a sign. This is absolutely crazy. So by the looks of this, it seems that someone was doing something very fishy in the woods. Like, um, doing some sort of demonic ritual to summon the most terrifying creature hell could ever imagine. If it exists, that is. Let me pass the question on to you, as your opinion is greatly appreciated here. Could this be some sort of ritual done by a mysterious entity? Or is this a hoaxed image of someone doing weird things with fire? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic, and we will pin the best comment that explains what is being shown on this image. Let's move on to the next one. Number four, the robed men. In this strange clip, a group of robed men respond to their names being called out by offering up a Nazi salute before proceeding to sacrifice a chicken. I mean, I suppose we all need a hobby. Personally, I just play video games, but whatever. Between the roll call and the chicken sacrifice, they engage in some ceremonious chanting, and during the sacrifice, they drip chicken's blood onto one another. Personally, I don't have the bravery to do the research necessary to figure out what might be going on here, but suffice to say, it's a bit weird. This is the sort of thing that could make even the Freemasons look positively normal. And I'm not just saying I'm scared to research them as a joke. Some people have attempted and claim it always leads to their computer getting a virus. What do you guys think? We'd love to hear from you. Who are these robed figures? Are they Satanists of some description or something else? Or does the Nazi style salute suggest they're not Satanists but rather neo-Nazis? Or are they some kind of terrifying blend of the two? And most importantly, why did they kill that chicken? Wanna know my theory? My 100% serious theory? KFC have kept their recipe secret for decades, right? What if this is it? What if this is how they make that chicken so finger licking good? They get a bunch of Satanists to murder it while wearing dressing gowns. Number three, the Ghost Dance of 1890. The Ghost Dance of 1890 was a new religious movement incorporated into numerous Native American belief systems. According to the teachings of the Northern Paiute spiritual leader, Wovoka, proper practice of the dance would reunite the living with spirits of the dead, bringing the spirits to fight on their behalf, making the white colonists leave and bring peace, prosperity, and unity to Native American peoples throughout the region. The basis for the ghost dance is the circle dance, a traditional dance done by many Native Americans. The ghost dance was first practiced by the Nevada Northern Paiute in 1889. The practice swept throughout much of the Western United States, quickly reaching areas of California and Oklahoma. As the ghost dance spread from its original source, different tribes synthesized selective aspects of the ritual with their own beliefs. But the government feared that the popularity of the ghost dance would lead to a native uprising. Considering its anti-white message, the military were tasked with suppressing anybody caught performing the ritual. This clip shows one of the few examples of the dance caught on tape. What you see in this mere 20 seconds of footage is Native Americans attempting to summon ghosts so that those ghosts might drive the white man out of America. 
The attempted oppression of the Ghost Dances got serious and led to two pretty serious events known as the Wounded Knee Massacre and the Ghost Dance War. Sadly, we don't have too much time to go into detail here, but if you're interested, we highly recommend you do a little research for yourself. Simply put, 25 US soldiers wound up dead, as did 153 Lakota, most of whom were women and children. Outrage in the eastern United States emerged as the public learned about the deaths. The US government had insisted on numerous occasions that the Indians had already been successfully pacified. Many Americans felt the US Army actions were unduly harsh. Some related the massacre at Wounded Knee Creek to the ungentlemanly act of kicking a man when he is already down. Public uproar played a role in the reinstatement of the previous treaty's terms, including full rations and more monetary compensation for lands taken away. Following the Wounded Knee Massacre, interest and participation in the ghost dance movement dropped dramatically for fear of continued violence against practitioners. Like most Indian ceremonies, it became clandestine rather than dying out completely. But the Wounded Knee Massacre was not the end of the ghost dance religious movement. Instead, it went underground. To this day, they continue in private. Number 2. The Aghori In India, there exists an incredibly small tribe, literally only about 70 members, called the Aghori, who follow their own deviation of Hinduism, a deviation that is not popular with mainstream Hindus and is even quite actively shunned. The Aghori engage in many ceremonies and rituals that we might deem strange and scary, including the one you're seeing on screen now. They smear cremation ashes on their bodies as they dance and use bones from human corpses as crafting cups. The Aghoris are infamous with the locals because they apparently cast black magic if the locals go near them. This important private ritual is called Shav Putra. In order to complete it, they must find human corpses. That's hard to find in Varnasi, as nearly everyone is cremated. Some families in Varnasi cannot afford rituals, so instead, they will put the bodies in the Ganges. So, the Aghori monks literally fish them out. When they find a body, they meditate on it, chop the head off because it holds the most energy, and some Aghoris eat the flesh. They believe that they can't please God if they don't do this human sacrifice. They keep the skull of the corpse as a reminder of the impermanence of life. They believe that all their acts are done in the pursuit of spiritual liberation. The Aghoris have their own kind of beliefs that are seen as evil and taboo with Hindus. This is why most of the locals stay right away from them. They have no fear and digest all evil. Other daily rituals include drinking urine and eating stools in their food. Don't worry, we don't have footage of that. They are also known to consume a lot of alcohol and marijuana, which is a tiny bit more relatable. In the ritual we have footage of, there is nothing too sinister. It's just dancing, and who doesn't love dancing? But knowing the other stuff they get up to gives it a chilling edge, especially when you wear in mind, they are covered in the ashes of the dead. They're literally wearing people as makeup. When you have the video evidence of them doing that, it makes the even more extreme stories you hear, like those of cannibalism, all the more believable. And that's terrifying. Number 1. Heaven's Gate Heaven's Gate was an American UFO religious millenarian cult based near San Diego, California. It was founded in 1974 and led by Marshall Applewhite and Bonnie Nettles. On March 26, 1997, Members of the San Diego County Sheriff's Department discovered the bodies of 39 members of the group in a house in the San Diego suburb of Rancho Santa Fe. They had participated in a mass suicide, specifically a coordinated series of ritual suicides, in order to reach what they believed was an extraterrestrial spacecraft following Comet Hale-Bopp. Just before the mass suicide, the group's website was updated with a message, Hale-Bopp brings closure to Heaven's Gate. Our 22 years of classroom here on planet Earth is finally coming to a conclusion. Foe, he told the group, would pick up their souls and take them to begin their new life. Graduation from the human evolutionary level. We are happily prepared to leave this world and go with T's crew. Rather chillingly, Louis Thoreau contacted the Heaven's Gate group while making a program for his BBC2 documentary series, Louis Thoreau's Weird Weekends, in early March 1997. And in response to his email, Thoreau was told that Heaven's Gate could not take part in the documentary because, at the present time, a project like this would be an interference with what we must focus on. Little did he know that the project they were focusing on was their own deaths. Now, while the ritual that led to the mass suicide was technically not caught on tape, the aftermath was, as you can see, body after body was taken out of the 9,200 square foot mansion in which the ritual had taken place. In this 10 second clip of one of Marshall Applewhite's self tapes, you can get just a brief glimpse of the terrifying nonsense he poured into his followers' heads in an attempt to get them to join him in this crazy act. Hell knows no evil like a charming man with a video camera. Of all the cults in the world, which is the one you are most scared to know exists? And what would you do if you walked in on one of these rituals? Also, check out our other cool stuff coming up on screen now. See you next time.